Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. So we have three patients in this video, so three patients that have come through clinic uh, in the last few days. Now, what we can see with this first patient, they have some very hard wax on, excuse me, from the outer part of the ear canal here. So we're using the standard size Zollner tube to loosen the wax from the canal wall, which lifts it, as you can see there, and allows us to um, start pulling away chunks from there and hopefully try and get it away in a larger piece. You can see the wax itself is quite sticky and quite stretchy. So we need to really maneuver this wax away from the ear canal walls you can see it's just starting to move there so if we can take it from this right side canal wall as you're looking at it here we'll probably be able to bend it out and away from the canal here we are just starting to see it move a little bit now lifting from the base you can see just how sticky it is as we're lifting it from one corner the top of the wax then will stick to the opposite corner of the canal. There we go, working its way out into the bowl of the canal there. Just keep wiggling this up and down, inching it forwards, there we are. So we've got it into the bowl of the canal. There we go, so that's the front end of the wax. It looks like a little bit broke off, there we are at the entrance to the canal. So we'll just use the Zollner tube just to tidy that up and take that away. You can see it's quite thick, sticky wax. We'll come away. You can see a little bit deeper into the canal. It looks like you can, a little bit, yeah, there we are. You can see it's a little bit further in. So this is obviously quite a large chunk of wax in this canal that just broke off uh, halfway down. So get rid of some of this skin out of my view there. Here we go, working it down the canal, trying to maintain a suction grip on it while we wiggle it up and down. Little pieces breaking away with the suction. There we are. That was the rear end of that large chunk of wax. And there's still more, so we need to get this piece away as well. This is very deep in the ear canal, this one. So sitting just in front of the eardrum. So you can see that this wax was actually one continuous piece. Um, and it's backed all the way up down to the drum itself. So just gently taking away these pieces now. There we go. Just lifting and bringing the wax forwards. Trying to get a good grip on the bottom. There we go. You can see where there we go. It's all come away. A little bit here up in the what they call the attic region, so in the top portion of the canal there. Just peel that down to get rid of that. There we go. There we are, there's the eardrum. So this is what we removed, so this was all from one ear, so you can see it was quite a substantial piece of wax altogether. Uh, so just under an inch and a, or just over an inch and a half there. So this is our second patient in the compilation. Now this patient's come through, obviously been using Q-tips, we've got a very uh, indented center to the wax and you can see the outer sections are coming uh, further towards the camera so down the canal a little bit more so I'm just going to probe it with the standard size on tube first of all just to see how tough this is the wax itself looks really hard so we hopefully could get this away in one piece just trying to test the edges of this wax to see if we can lift it or move it it looks really tough, so what we're going to do is use the crocodile forceps now just to get down the side uh, of the wax. 
using the underside of the forceps lifting slightly so we can get in a little bit further and then trying to grip now you can see we've only got a very shallow grip on that wax there so lifting again trying to get underneath there now as we pull can you see the whole thing is moving so it allows us to get a much better grip then and try and bring this out in one large piece if possible there we go it's really starting to move now it's loosened from where it was stuck in the canal so that's the front end there and you can see the canal there you can see where it's been quite red and aggravated in there so this was the piece so two centimeters long so quite a substantial piece the larger left hand side is the front end and obviously that's where it goes into the canal there at the back end on the right side so uh, last patient in the compilation today looks like a little bit softer wax this one so zolna tube coming out getting a grip on the front end of this wax you can see it's very soft getting sucked into the machine but there we've got a grip on that wax now a little bit broke away but do you see the whole chunk lift upwards so it means it's detached it from the canal wall gives us a better chance now of getting this out in one piece if possible so try to maintain a good suction grip while bringing the wax forwards towards the camera now there we go You can see a long strip of dead dry skin on the back of that there. There's the eardrum, so it all came out away in one piece. So this is the op this is the uh, other side of the uh, of this patient. So you can see we've got quite a large chunk here as well. So same thing again. We're going to use the standard size on the tube, but you can see that wax is quite firmly stuck in there. So not coming away from the canal walls as much as we like. But can you see there's a gap at the top? So this would be a perfect uh, perfect piece of wax to use the St. Bart's hook on. So we're going to go behind and draw this forward. Now lots of people ask why we don't use the hook so often. It's You've got to have a really good uh, gap to be able to get the hook through safely. And uh, you, you've got to know you're not too deep in the canal. Maybe we are lovely uh, shiny eardrum which is why it doesn't come out too often. So you can see here, this is what we removed from this patient. So quite large pieces and long bits of dry skin. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.